I was really looking forward to it. Um, it, it. People ask me, I've been coaching a long time, people ask me if I ever get tired of football, and frankly, I just get tired of waiting for football. I get tired of waiting for the next opportunity to be out here. And this is fun, the kids were excited to be out here on the field, the coaches as well. We put a, we put a lot of time in the off season, lifting and meetings and walkthroughs and all the things that, you know, the morning workouts, just the, the lead up to this day. So. It didn't look great. Uh, there's a lot of things we got to improve on. I didn't anticipate it was going to look really good, but enthusiasm was was uh, just as good as it could be, and I thought the effort was really good. So that's a positive for the first day. Typical first day. Typical first day. Mm -hmm. You you kind of answered the question I was going to ask how you felt the first day of spring practice went. Um, what are the positives that you you pulled out of today's practice? Oh. Uh, it's it's hard to get a whole long list of positives when you're in shorts and it's the first day of spring practice and we're installing a new offense. Uh, we got some veteran players on our team that, that have been in a lot of football games and it, it's fun to see them get out here and, and take the lead and, and uh, particularly on defense. They, we're not changing the defense. So a lot of guys with some experience and they're very confident. Uh, but on on offense, those guys up front, uh, Fanukin and Booby Law, uh, Filipowitz, you know, there's 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 guys. You know, Josh Langenfelter at tight end. Though it's a new offense, just to see those guys go out there and take charge and really work at the fundamentals and and and, and have some new things that they've got to work on that challenges them. Uh, I've enjoyed watching them work, and I thought they did a good job today. So it's going to improve as the, as the days and weeks go on. And part of the reason we, we spread the spring practice out is just to get more meeting time and to get more opportunities for these guys to learn, especially on offense with, with so much going in that's, that's brand new. Without citing specifics of what you were doing today, what is it that you try to accomplish on day one? And does that go like day one, day two, th day three, and then it starts getting a little more specific yeah, and serious? Sure. Um, a lot of fundamentals today. So a, a lot more individual time with with groups and, and uh, positions with your position coaches. And that, that just kind of gets us set up for the the Saturday practice when we're in shells and there's going to be a little more contact and the speed's going to pick up. At any time the speed increases, especially early in camp, whether it's spring or preseason camp, when the speed increases, the, the missed assignments go with it. Uh, and a lot more mistakes are made. So really it's just to, to overemphasize those fundamentals here in these first couple of days. And that, that was the big focus today was, was just on the fundamentals but we do a lot of stuff in the film room and we watch other people doing it uh, coach Thatcher's brought film in from his his previous school we're watching those guys execute this offense uh, we've done some walkthroughs which helps with assignments uh, chalk talks and those kinds of things but now to get out there and do it with all of our 11 guys together a different story and and so really find out how much they've grasped and how much they're they're able to handle from a mental standpoint and and uh so you learn things about each guy individually and you learn things about how far you can take it the next day or the next time we're out there but we've kind of had chances to install and go through what we're going to do for the first couple of days so i, I think our guys mentally are, are a lot better prepared for today and friday than, uh, than, than maybe we would have been had we just uh, tried to install a lot more and put in all the, the stuff that's going in in the coming weeks. We really just try to hone in on the, on the, the elementary phases of it and, and hopefully that's gonna help. Talk about this new offense. Um, change is hard. You have some seniors coming up that this is going to be a quite different offense for them. Talk about that a little bit. The, the good news is, is that we've, we've run some of the gun run stuff in the past. We've run zone, we've run power, uh, we've run trap. And so a lot of the blocking schemes uh, and the blocking fundamentals 
are not entirely different from what we had been doing when, when we were doing the, the, the stuff from the gun with the previous system. Um, and the philosophy doesn't change. And there's still a lot of option elements in our offense. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't throw the option offense into the trash. We just, the, the way it's presented and the way it's structured is gonna be different. And, and that's a change and it's different for our guys. But when, when you've gotta block somebody and knock them off the ball and move them, it's still a lot of the same fundamentals show up. Whether the quarterback's taking a snap from under center or he's taking a snap from the gun, and uh, and so that that that's the good news. It's not something entirely different from from what we've done, but there's things to learn and and uh, new terminology and some of the some of the fundamentals that we are teaching, particularly to the guys up front, uh, may be a little different than we've taught in the past. Uh, the way we identify things, the way that we uh, work two linemen together in combination blocks. Uh, some of those things are different, but our guys are smart and they work hard and they care, and, and so I'm confident they're gonna they're gonna pick it up. And by the end of the spring, we'll we'll feel a lot better about where we're at. Just from chalk talk, do you get an idea that yes, they're getting it? Yes, I do. Um, I, there's a simplicity to what we're doing, which is another thing to me as a coach that's very appealing about the offense. Uh, I think people see teams that run under center option and they think oh that's just three yards in a cloud of dust and guys just you know come off the ball as hard as they can and try to knock people off the ball and yeah we're trying to do that but it's a very complex system and what we were doing was was very complex there's a lot to learn and a lot to to remember and particularly for young players especially young quarterbacks it's very difficult to go into that system and to be able to to play and contribute because there is so much to learn and so much to remember. And with this system, not, not that there's not complexity to it, uh, it's complex enough that we're not just sitting ducks out there, but it's simple enough that even a young player that comes in in the fall and goes through preseason camp will have a chance to compete and learn the offense and be able to, to realistically contribute if he's physically ready and capable. Tell me if I'm wrong, but last year, you, you guys going into the season felt very good about the depth of your offensive line and such, but there were issues with the line all year. You were unsatisfied through the year. Does this new system make it um, lead you to believe that it's going, things are going to be better this year? I think it's going to help us stay healthier. And that's one of the big issues we had a year ago. And frankly, with the system that we've been running, it is staying healthy. Um, there are a lot of guys on the ground when you're running the under center option system. And a lot of linemen falling on top of linemen. It's not always the other guys falling on top of you. Sometimes it's our own guys falling on top of us. And so I, I, I think and I hope uh, that we will be able to stay healthier, and I think that'll help us. Where week after week, we've got our best five players available to go out there and play uh, and, and play the whole game and be ready to go the next week as well. Last question. Um, are you able to give an update on uh, Robinson? Tyrell. Tyrell. Tyrell Robinson. Uh, rehab is going really good. Uh, our training staff's very pleased with where he's at. He's worked really hard at it. You see him walking around out here. He doesn't have a big lunky knee brace, and he's he's able to do some straight ahead stuff, and and uh, and so he's coming around. And we we're very optimistic that he's going to be ready to go to play in the fall. I don't know if he'll be a hundred percent when we play the first game, um, or have had enough reps on it to have the confidence, but. I'm hopeful, and if we can get him there this summer before we start preseason camp and he can really do all the change of direction stuff, I think he's, he's going to be much more confident going into preseason camp. And, and, uh, and by the time we play the first game after going through four and a half weeks of camp or whatever it is, he'll have enough confidence to be able to play. Obviously, we know he's a very talented guy, but when you have an injury like that, 
you don't know what you don't know what that athlete's going to look like until they're fully recovered and have a chance to really turn it loose. And we, we haven't had a chance to evaluate that yet, obviously.